I heard from our mutual acquaintances, from a whole range of our mutual acquaintances about you, that you are quite open to everything always, that you can ask advice from a 19-year-old guy. And I know a specific example. Here is a comrade. He says, you won't believe it. Margolin asked me for advice and listened. He sat with me for a whole hour while I was telling him. I think it's interesting that you look into different projects, different investments. This openness is supported by you. And for me, this very closedness in beliefs and openness. These are the things that essentially float somewhere nearby, yes. In your perspective, what specifically enables you to maintain this openness and effectively track any beliefs that may hinder you from achieving your goals or personal growth in a consistent manner? What doesn't allow, for example, to do something new or become a happier person? You have all the technicians. How do you track it? Look, I'm generally afraid of the phrase, I know. Yes, saying, I know. Because firstly, as soon as you say that you know something, you put yourself in a mental prison. That's all. Imagine, you're heading in this direction, and you say, I know the destination of the road ahead. This signifies that you have positioned yourself in a situation with no way out. Why continue if you are already aware of the outcome? I am referring to this. Life is perpetually on the side of questions and inquiries. And the sole response to our existence is mortality. That is, demise is the responses. Answers are death. Questions are life. Accordingly, imagine this. When you came to me and say, tell me, how do I do this and that here? I give you a ready answer. You take and leave and stop looking for a way out in this direction because you have a ready answer. I got something. You have an answer. Yes, you solved this situation. But you get the same situation in a different form. And there is no Magulana nearby. And you never found an answer. It turns out that answer is already outdated. And there is no answer for the new situation. Because you closed the track here for yourself. Therefore, I know. It's death. Questions are life. Always ask. Every time you say, I know, it means your pride is building your mental prison. So you have to ask everyone. In Islam, there is a good rule. If you don't know, ask someone who knows. If you don't know, ask someone who knows. Elementary. And you ask, that's why we have a boot camp today. Invest boot camp. I say the main quality of a good investor is that he never says that he knows. And a highly significant point, I must say, there are absolutely no foolish or senseless inquiries whatsoever. There are foolish people who don't ask questions. No matter how knowledgeable he may be, if he doesn't ask questions, he is foolish. Therefore, there are no stupid questions. You need to ask. Who can say that he knows everything in this world or something in this world? We don't know anything. 